Good evening. I want to welcome you to the telecast. My name is Kathy Ellis, and the name of this ministry is God's Power Surge, GPS for short, because I believe everyone needs direction in where they're going, and Jesus Christ is the only direction. We're going to be in chapter uh, John chapter 15 this evening, if you want to get your Bibles ready. Uh, John chapter 15, we're going to talk about uh, Jesus being the vine and we're the branches and uh, and uh, within only through him can our joy be filled. And that song come to my mind just thinking about uh, the joy. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. And you can have it too. All you have to do is have that love of Jesus in your heart. And how do you get it there? Well, you ask him. You just lay everything down at the foot of the cross and you leave it there. And it's a continual training. We have to continually do that because life happens. Sometimes life is hard. It's not always a bed of roses. Sometimes you really, really have to dig deep and get yourself cheered up. (sighs) Because you can get weary. Yeah, you can get weary, but let me tell you, sing a happy song. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. And you keep telling yourself that and you'll be happy again. Because let me tell you, you can talk yourself into just about anything. And being happy is a choice. Hallelujah. But let me tell you, having the love of Christ within you, you will have joy and peace. Because that's who God is. Hallelujah. That's who our God is. And when he comes in, there's changes that takes place. Things happen to you. Just like this song, I don't remember. Hallelujah. He gave it to me in 2018. It's called I Don't Remember, and it goes like this. I don't remember how sad and lonely I used to feel Before the Lord gave me a joy and a friendship so real And I don't remember my heartaches when others let me down Now that the Lord gave me his peace Looking at his creation all around me. But now I bask in all of his glorious work. And can't wait to spend eternity in what he's made just for me. It's hard to believe how I used to be. Although my old friends will 
sometimes try to remind me I just say wow I'm not that way anymore now that the Lord has given me a life I love so much more I'm glad I don't remember neither does he how wretched I was before That's what it's all about. You know, he says he casts our sins in the sea of forgetfulness as far as the east is from the west. And he doesn't remember them. But let me tell you, people and the old devil will try to throw it up in your face all the time, how you used to be, but say, yeah, I'm not that person anymore. I don't know who you're talking about. God don't remember, and I'm not either. I'm moving forward. Because he says those who set their hands to the plow and looks back isn't worthy of the kingdom of God. God is a God of a future. He's a God of what's up ahead. He doesn't worry about your past. He wants you to keep going and keep looking forward and keeping your eyes on him. Amen. Don't be tormented by your past. Your past is gone. Can't do a thing about it. But God washes it away, makes you a new creature, gives you true freedom. You feel whole, you feel free, you feel ah, just at ease. And you can have that. You can have that. I want to sing a little bit of this song I used to sing with a friend of mine, Eileen Johns, when we was in Praising Jesus together. And uh, the song's called, I Need Jesus. Because that's what the message is about this evening. We all need Jesus. Because he is the vine and we're the branch. And it goes like this. Well, I need Jesus. You need him too. Along life's highways to carry you through when you're in trouble and you don't know what to do just call on Jesus 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 he'll carry you through Sometimes I'm discouraged, my load's hard to bear. I feel myself stumble, need my load of care. Then I ask him this question, oh Lord, how long? Then I hear his voice whisper, whisper, whisper. Soon you'll be coming home. Well, I need Jesus. You need him too. Along life's highway. trouble and you don't know what to do just call on Jesus 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 and he'll carry you through he'll carry you through 
Because that's what Jesus does. He says, cast all your cares upon me, all ye heavy laden, and I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He wants us to give him the heaviness and the weariness so we can be filled with joy. Hallelujah. Because he is an awesome God. And he loves us. That's why he says to do those things. He wants us to be bright lights. And we can't be a bright light if we're under a neath of load of care. It's like hiding your light under a bushel. Hallelujah. He said, let it shine. Be a great light. That's what we started singing at church. This great light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This great light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This great light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This great light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This great light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This great light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hallelujah. See, get, sing those happy songs and get yourself cheered up. Hallelujah. And you'll have a bounce in your step there a little bit. We're supposed to be happy people. We got the love of God. Hallelujah. And we're redeemed. Hallelujah. I like this song, and I had to change the words a little bit in it because I'm not a man. Um, but it's called, I Can't Even Walk Without Holding His Hand. And uh, I want you to listen to the words because, you know, we can't do anything without God. And, and that's what we're going to learn about this evening. I thought number one would always be me. I thought I could be what I wanted to be. I thought I could build on life sinking sand. But I can't even walk without you holding my hand. I thought I do a lot on my own. I thought I could make it all alone. I thought of myself one mighty to stand, but I can't even walk without you holding. Don't trust in him I'd be lesser than I am Cause I can't even walk Without you holding my hand I can't even walk Without you holding my hand The mountain's too high The valley's too wide Let's go to the Word. As I told you, we're going to be in John, the 15th chapter, and I'm going to read the first through the 11th verses. 
And it says, I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye ex- except ye abide in me. I am the vine, and ye are the branches. And he that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. If a man abideth not in me, he is cast forth as a branch that withereth, and the men gather and cast them into the fire, that they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and I shall, and it shall be done unto you. Herein my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so I have loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things which I have spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. Oh, hallelujah. Be full of joy because we abide and keep his commandments. And if we keep his commandments, we will have love in our heart. Hallelujah. Because he says, I am the vine and you are the branch and you can do nothing without me. So many people are struggling, trying to do everything on their own, trying to do this and trying to do that. They live in the world. They're working all these many different jobs and they're trying to make ends meet. And they're just going out and, and they get frustrated. And the next thing you know, they're struggling with addictions or they're struggling with, with all these other things in, in life struggling because they are not in line with the word of God and they're not in uh, in Jesus to where he is the vine and we are the branch. He says, if you're not in him, the father takes him away. And just like, just like when a tree limb falls off, I had half of a plum tree get broke off of my tree and it dried up and we chopped it up here a while back and we burn it and it burned up pretty quick and folks you know there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun because he says as men cast those branches in the fire and burneth up that's what's going to happen to those that he cuts off he's going to cut someone off he says every branch in me that beareth not fruit he taketh away Many are sitting in the church house and they're not bearing any fruit. They're sitting there and they're just as ill-content when they leave as they are when they come. The Word of God hasn't made any changes in them. And they go out and they do what they want to do all week long and they come in and they sit in the church house again. What are you doing for the Lord? Are you bearing fruit? Are you witnessing to your neighbors, to your co-workers? Are you being a light? Are you going out and doing anything for the Lord? Are you singing? Are you preaching? Are you testifying of God's love? Are you helping people? Donating your time uh, and efforts in um, feeding the poor? Or being over the church storehouse giving out to people in need? There are all sorts of things that we can do because this is a hurting nation. We are hurting because this nation has put everything before the Lord. And he is doing some purging and he's doing some cutting off because he wants those that's in him to bear more fruit. He's saying, get out of the church house and go, go out into the world and tell those and compel them to come in. Just like with the the marriage supper, uh, he he had. There's this parable where he says a man is inviting people to dinner, and he said, "Go out and compel them to come in." And one had just bought a home, one had just gotten married, one had just done this, one had just no one would come, 
And he said, well, go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. And when they'd come in, and he said, one didn't have a bride gown on, didn't have his wedding garment on, and he was cast out. Because when Jesus comes back, and he is surely coming back soon, we're going to have to have a wedding garment on. And it says we are to be able to stand before him in a white gown without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. And the only way we can do that is through him. It says right there, it says, I am the vine and ye are the branches, and he that bideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. And we heard what happens when we go forth without him. Because if you read in the seventh chapter of Matthew, it says there's going to be many cry, Lord, Lord, did we not do this in your name? He says, I never knew you. He says, I know those that do the will of my Father. If you do the will of my Father and you abide in me and I in you, are you seeing how all this fits together? Are you seeing how serious it is that we need to abide in Jesus? And we only abide in Jesus when we lay ourselves down and say, Here it is, Lord. My sins and everything, I lay it before your feet. I want to be born again in that new creature. I want to be different. And that's when you will definitely feel different. When you lay everything down and then you get back up and you'll have that zeal and that hunger to go forth to do the will of the Father, and bear much fruit. Hallelujah. Because we can't do anything without Him. And we can't stand even before Him without Him. And so many people are trying to do it on their own. And, well, I'm a good person. Well, if that's all it took, Jesus wouldn't have had to have died on the cross and shed His blood for remission of sin. And we have to accept that blood. And we have to say, Jesus, take that blood and blot out my sins and make me a new creature we have to speak to God that's our prayer we have to pray to him that's speaking to him and allowing him to make changes within us because without that change we're not born again and we can't be in the kingdom of God without being born again if you want to read the third chapter of John he explains it all he explains it all he tells Nicodemus and he said for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever whosoever he doesn't care what you've done because he'll take it and put it in the sea of forgetfulness and he'll never remember your past he'll just see the blood and he'll say enter in you good and faithful servant because we're all going to stand before him but we have to be ready. He says, be ye ready. Be holy, for I am holy. That means being sanctified. And no one talks about sanctification. But being sanctified is being separated from the world. You know, I don't go and watch the movies like I used to because of the language. I don't want to hear it. I don't listen to a lot of the secular, well, I don't listen to any secular music because I don't like a lot of it. I listen to gospel music. And I feed myself those good things, those things that are good and pure. If we read Philippians chapter 4, verses 6, 7, and 8, we'll know exactly what we need to do. Bringing our petitions unto the Lord and thinking upon good things. Philippians 4, 6, 7, and 8, read that. That's an awesome, an awesome preach in itself. Hallelujah. Because I'm here to tell you, folks, that the Lord is coming back, and he put this scripture into my heart, and, and he wants the whole world to know that we cannot do anything without Jesus. You know, the world is preaching a gospel that you can get into heaven other ways other than Jesus. But the Bible says, no, you can't do that. And a lot of people are being beguiled. 
And I'm here to tell you that all these other little gods of the world, you know, Allah and Buddha and all them other gods that people want to worship are dead. Jesus is the only living God. He was crucified, but he was resurrected because he is the true son of God. He is the God in God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Three in one. And the Holy Spirit is just coming through, seeking, continuing, and helping us do the work of God. And I pray that there will be more people go out to the streets and start preaching the word of God to where people can hear it and people will be changed. Because let me tell you, when, you, when you're outdoors and you're praying and you're preaching, there's nothing like it. It's an awesome thing. It's an awesome thing. And I just keep praying that, you know, the Lord will just push back the darkness where people can see the light and be drawn unto it. And we worship and praise people every Thursday night at Lewis County Park. We're out there at 7 o'clock. You come down into the park in behind Wendy's. Uh, you go up past the first turnoff. It's the second turnoff past Wendy's. And you go down over the hill there and you just keep veering to the left. And we're right over there in that field. Come out and worship God with us. Come out and see changes being made in your heart. We're having some awesome services. And I'm not doing them all myself. I have different speakers, different singers. You know, and we're just out there praising the Lord and letting God do what only he can do. And I ask any ministers, if you want to come and preach, get a hold of me. My number's on the screen at the end of the telecast. You know, I don't want to do this all myself. I want everyone to be involved because this is about God, not denomination. And we need to get that denomination foolishness out of our heads because there's not going to be separation in heaven. We're all going to be together and we're all going to be worshiping and praising the same God. And heaven isn't quiet. There's angels around the throne crying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Holy, holy, holy is he around the throne. And people are worshiping and praising God and shouting and being happy because they made it. And what a time it's going to be when we're all together. Hallelujah. It's going to be an awesome time. And I want you to be there. And all it takes is you to let go of your stubborn self and start being stubborn about Jesus. And say, I want to stand for Jesus, and I want to put that old devil under my feet where he belongs. And I want to be filled with joy, because these things I have spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. Hallelujah. Be full of joy. Hallelujah. Because in Nehemiah chapter 8, it says, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. Because the devil comes, and he tries to steal your joy first off, because he wants to weaken you. And he wants to then strike at something else because he doesn't know what affects you unless you let it be known. Hallelujah. So just stand strong and rebuke him. Say, get thee hence, devil, because it is written in the word of God that ye savor us not the things of God. Hallelujah. Or get thee hence, Satan, for it is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. We've got this word. And it's full of all sorts of encouragement and instruction and direction. And we need to read it. And we need to know it so we don't get deceived. Because the Lord is coming back. And he, I want you to be there with me in heaven. Hallelujah. Because he is an awesome God. He doesn't want anyone to be lost. That's why he has preachers. That's why he has telecasts and things. So people will hear the word and hearken unto it, listen to it, and be changed. Let us pray. Lord God, let your word go forth and let it not return unto you void, as your word says, but do whatever you need it to do. Because there are people that need delivered. There's people needing saved. There's people that need lifted up and encouraged. There's people that need healed. And Lord God, you are the God of all flesh and there is nothing too hard for you. Go forth and do your word with those in the hearing of my voice. Lord God, make changes and show your 
yourself mighty in the name of Jesus, we ask all things. And I really want to see you out in Lewis County Park on Thursday nights um, and bring your prayer requests. We'll pray with you. Um, you know, we're wanting to obey God and just let God move and show himself mighty. And if you need uh, prayer, you can contact me. Like I said, my number's on the end of the, at the end of the telecast. You can call me, and I will surely pray. And until next time, I hope that you are blessed.